So we lost money on the Lexus GS300. So what are we doing now? We're going back to square one and we bought another MPS. But this MPS is just a little bit different. So yes, if you are new to the Lemon to Lambo series, this is where Morgan and myself go from car to car, flip our way up to eventually getting that Lambo, fingers crossed. Uh, if you've watched our recent episodes, you'll know that we are fresh off the loss from the Lexus G GS300. God, even now the Lexus is killing me. Uh, the Lexus GS300, we ended up losing about $1,000 on that car. Uh, but we're here today, we've got another car, our next flip, so hopefully we've taken one step back and can take two, maybe three steps forward. Um, if you were watching the auction videos, one of you did guess correctly, it is the Mazda 6 MPS. Uh, we didn't end up getting it. So Morgan, cue the montage. For a more detailed video on washing your car, keep an eye out for our next video where we go into all the do's and don'ts when washing your car. So we've jacked up the MPS, uh, just to have a look underneath the car, see if there's any worrying signs, anything to look out for that may need replacing before we go and sell it. Um, but at a quick glance, the car is looking very, very clean. We've got my trusty torch, and we'll just start at the back with the mufflers. They are looking perfect. It hasn't even got any surface rust. Honestly, it looks brand new um, on both of them. Moving forward to the suspension. Springs looking good. Bushes. No tear CVs. This is all wheel drive. Boots looking good. Yep, everything's looking good. The tires, plenty of tread left on it. Still got the the um, the little what do you call it, the fills for the tire molds. Uh, the exhaust, well, and before we go to the exhaust, the rear differential, um, again, amazing. Looks very very new. So I think this car has had some pretty good storage in its life uh, because it just looks so well kept uh, underneath. Not much grime at all. Um, like, like this is heat shielding right under the car. If I drag my fingers across, they should be black. But it's nothing. It's impeccable. Um, moving forward, again, it's just, it's so clean. Like, this car is 14 years old, 15 years old. This should be just filthy, but it's not. Like it's just, it's immaculate. Um, this being all wheel drive, we've got the rear tail shaft here, the U joints. I'm pretty sure that's the right turn for them. Looking good. The bushing inside them, no movement or play. They're good. Uh, again, exhaust, good catalytic converter, looking in good shape. There's a little tiny bit of surface 
corrosion on the front there, but nothing to be concerned about. Again, it's just, this car is immaculate. Um, got some water, we've just washed the car, it's not oil, if you have a look. Just water, all good there. Moving to the front, CB boots looking good, shocks are dry as a bone. All the bushings, not torn or ripped, which is good. And again, on the other side, yeah. And there's a bit of under paneling here. Just stick my finger up, see if there's any oil. Nah, just some dust. And this one, just some dust. It's, like this is incredible. This car is going on 15 years old and it's immaculate. It's un, Unbelievable. So, um, amazing clean bill of health. Uh, wheels on the front here also, same as the rears, lots of tread. Uh, brakes. Brakes are good, no lips. Yeah, we have just cleaned it, so as soon as we just take it around the block, they'll clean right up. The car's impeccable. We'll uh, get it down and um, yeah, go through the interior and the uh, scan tool. So we just scanned the mighty, mighty MPS and flawless, not a single fault wrong. The car is perfect. So there's really not a lot to say. It's extremely clean underneath. Um, there is nothing mechanically wrong or anything that's troubling the systems. Uh, we went through the service history of the vehicle. It was serviced, uh, three months ago, four months ago. So it's recently serviced, recently got new tires. The car's like spot on, it's quite unreal. Um, inside, we did go through a bit of the interior when we were at the auctions, um, when we were first looking at the car, and honestly, it's a pretty nice, amazing space to be. Um, I do like, because we did start off the challenge with a Mazda 3 MPS, um, and this is just a far nicer place to be. It's got nice trim, nice gloss trim. Carpets are nice and thick and feel good and quality. Um, it's just, oh yeah, I'm lost for words. There's nothing wrong with it. The car's sweet. We just got to register it. And then uh, someone is going to be extremely lucky. This car is amazing. So um, yeah, I guess. Hopefully, in the next video for the Lemon to Lambo series, we sold it. It's a bit uneventful. Normally, the cars we buy um, are actually lemons and have stuff that needs done, but this car is, yeah, it's immaculate. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say. So, we snatched up the Mazda 6 MPS from the auctions, and it is a beautiful car. Um, Going over it, it's just immaculate inside and out. To put it in perspective, this car's 15 years old and the Mercedes that's sitting right out front of it is only six years old and the Mercedes underneath is far dirtier than that. Like it is crazy clean underneath. So did someone clean it? Maybe? Underbody clean? It's very odd, like it's stupidly clean underneath. It should not be that clean. The paintwork is immaculate. Um, Besides the, the rock chips, I guess. Besides the rock chips, that's the only thing. But then you can see the car's been used. It hasn't been a garage clean. It's done 170,000 K. So, I mean, it's quite, it's on the lower end for these kind of cars just because they are getting, you know, 15 years on. Um, but it's just clean. It's so clean. It's so well kept. Full service history, spare key, leather, everything. Morgan's just informed me that this is, we didn't even know about it, but this is the luxury version of the Mazda 6 MPS. Um, so just unreal. Um, it sucks for us because we're in the market of making content on YouTube and when your car is perfect, there's nothing to do. <laughs> so uh, what's next? Well, uh, we've cleaned it. Um, we're gonna list it for sale. There's, there's nothing to do. There's no leaky rocker cover gasket. Uh, the brakes are good. 
which is weird because I think all our cars needed I brakes. I think every single so car has needed brakes. Yeah. Um, no oil change. No oil no. change. Everything's good. Bushing's good. Nothing. It's just everything's good. So yeah, sorry if you're wanting MPS content because the car's perfect. We don't have to do anything. Um, so on that sad yet good bombshell, um, we will see you guys in the next Lemon to Lambo episode. Hopefully Morgan can sell us one. I don't think we could have given him a better car. If you can't sell this, I'm kicking you off the channel. Fair enough. So yes, if you enjoy this content, hit that like button, comment below. If you want to buy the MPS, it's perfect. I mean, buy it, go ahead, let us know. Um, but yeah, most importantly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, does mean a lot. And we'll see you in the next Lemon to Lambo episode.